This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Bang for mercenaries. PCs can hire a mercenary who comes complete with his own equipment, including armor, weapons, mount, and body. Or they can hire an able-bodied warrior and provide arms and armor. Troops that have their own equipment tend to be better trained, but more expensive. Troops without their own equipment have wildly variable abilities, but accept less pay per day. Table 4-4. Sample mercenary equipment lists different troops that provide their own equipment. This includes armor and weapons, including horse and barding for mounted troops. The table shows how much their equipment costs and what level the average character must be to afford it. The better the equipment, usually the better the warrior. If you hire mercenaries who have expensive equipment, especially mounted troops, be prepared to pay more per day. The equipment of, on the table does not include any magic items, which should be very rare among regular mercenaries. Typically, a warrior should be at least 7th level before owning some kind of magic weapon or armor. Table 4-4 Sample Mercenary Equipment Troop Type Skirmisher Foot Padded Buckler Sling Half Spear Level 1st AC 13 Base attack bonus plus 3, cost 21 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Skirmisher, foot, padded, throwing axes, 3, dagger. Level, first, AC 12, base attack bonus plus 3, cost 31 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Skirmisher, foot, level, leather, large wooden shield, javelins, 5. Short Sword. Level 1st. AC 14. Bonus attack or base attack bonus plus 3. Cost 32 gold pieces. Daily wage 2 silver pieces. Skirmisher Foot. Padded. Short Bow. Light Mace. Level 1st. AC 12. Base attack bonus plus 3. Cost 41 gold pieces. Daily wage, two silver pieces. Skirmisher foot, leather, light crossbow, hard axe. Level first, AC 13, base attack bonus plus three, cost 51 gold pieces. Daily wage, two silver pieces. Skirmish foot, studded leather, buckler, short bow, Scimitar, level 1st, AC 14, base attack bonus plus 3, cost 86 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Skirmishers, mounted, studded leather, sling, light pick, light warhorse, level 4, AC 14, base attack bonus plus 6, cost 205 gold pieces, daily wage 4 silver pieces. Skirmishers, mounted, studded leather, small wooden shield, javelins, five, short sword, light warhorse, level fourth, AC 15, base attack bonus, plus six, cost 219 gold pieces, daily wage, four silver pieces. Skirmishers, mounted. Leather, composite bow, short, uh, composite short bow, light mace, light warhorse, level fourth, AC fourteen, base attack bonus plus four, cost two hundred and sixty six gold pieces, daily wage four silver pieces. Light foot, leather, small wooden shield, battle axe, throwing axe, level first, AC thirteen. Base attack bonus plus 3, cost 31 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Light foot, studded leather, large wooden shield, short spear, light hammer, 
Level first, AC 14, base attack bonus plus 3, cost 35 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Light foot, studded leather, long spear, short sword, level first, AC 11, base attack bonus plus 3, cost 40 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Light foot, Leather, Heavy Crossbow, Dagger, Level, First, AC 11, Base Attack Bonus, Plus 3, Cost 63 Gold Pieces, Daily Wage, 2 Silver Pieces, Light Foot, Leather, Longbow, Dagger, Level, First, AC 11, Base Attack bonus plus 3, cost 88 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Light foot, leather, composite longbow, dagger, level 1st, AC 11, base attack bonus plus 3, cost 113 gold pieces, daily wage 2 silver pieces. Light mounted. Studded leather, small wooden shield, short spear, light flail, light war horse. Level 4th, AC 14, base attack plus 6, cost 214 gold pieces, daily wage 4 silver pieces. Light mounted, studded leather, small wooden shield, light lance, light mace, light war horse. Level 4th. AC 14, base attack bonus, plus 6, cost 214 gold pieces, wait, light mounted, studded leather, small wooden shield, short spear, light flail, light war horse, level 4, AC 14, base attack Bonus, plus 6, cost 214 gold pieces, daily wage, 4 silver pieces. Light mounted, studded leather, small wooden shield, light lance, light mace, light war horse, level 4, AC 14, base attack, bonus, plus 6, cost 215 gold pieces, daily wage, 4 silver pieces. Light mounted, leather, Buckler, Scimitar, Dagger, Light War Horse, Level 4, <clears throat> AC 14, Base Attack Bonus plus 6, Cost 218 Gold Pieces, 4 Silver Pieces. Medium Foot, Scale Mail, Halberd, Morningstar, Level 2nd. AC 14, base attack bonus plus 4, cost 68 gold pieces, daily wage, 4 silver pieces. Medium foot, scale mail, rancer, longsword, level 2nd, AC 14, base attack bonus plus 4, cost 75 gold pieces, daily wage, 4 silver pieces. Medium foot, scale mail, small steel shield, long sword, dagger. Level second, AC 15, base attack bonus, plus four. Cost 76 gold pieces, daily wage, four silver pieces. Medium foot, chain mail, long spear, short sword. Level 3rd, AC 15, base attack bonus plus 5, cost 165 gold pieces, daily wage 6 silver pieces. Medium foot, splint mail, disarm, 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 heavy pick, level 5th, AC 16, base attack bonus plus 7, cost 217 gold pieces, Daily wage, 10 silver pieces. Medium foot, breastplate, small steel shield, war hammer, dagger. 
level 5th. AC 16, base attack bonus plus 7, cost 223 gold pieces. Daily wage, 10 silver pieces. Medium mounted, chainmail, small steel, sh shield, longsword, dagger, heavy warhorse, level 8. AC 16, base attack bonus, plus 11, slash plus 6. Cost 602 gold pieces. Daily wage 16 silver pieces. Medium mounted scale mail, small wooden shield, trident, short sword, heavy war horse, studded leather barding. Level 8, AC 16. Armor, no, basic attack bonus. Plus 11, slash plus 6, cost 604 gold pieces. Daily wages, daily wage, 16 silver pieces. Medium mounted, breastplate, small steel shield, light flail, light pick, heavy war horse, leather barding, level 9, AC 16. Base attack bonus plus 12 slash plus 7 cost 687 gold pieces. Daily wage 18 silver pieces. Heavy foot. <coughs> Splint mail, greatsword, dagger. Level 5th, AC 16. Base attack bonus plus 7 cost 252 gold pieces. Daily wage 10 silver pieces. Heavy foot, splint mail, large steel shield, heavy mace, short sword, level 5th, AC 18, base, attack bonus, plus 7, cost 242 gold pieces, daily wage, 10 silver pieces. Heavy foot, banded mail, heavy flail, dagger, level 5th, armor class, 16, Base attack bonus plus 7, cost 267 gold pieces. Daily wage 10 silver pieces. Heavy foot, banded mail, large steel shield, battle axe, throwing axe. Level 5th, AC 18. Base attack bonus plus 7. To cost 288 gold pieces, daily wage 10 silver pieces. Heavy foot, splint mail, great axe, short sword, level 5th, AC 16, base attack bonus plus 7, cost 230 gold pieces, daily wage 10 silver pieces. Heavy mounted, banded mail, Large steel shield, war hammer, short sword, heavy war horse, scale barding, level 10th, AC 19, base attack bonus plus 13 slash plus 8, cost 916 gold pieces, daily wage 20 silver pieces. Heavy mounted, half plate, large steel shield, Heavy pick, battle axe, heavy war horse, chainmail, barding. Level 10th, AC 18. Base attack bonus plus 13 slash plus 8. Cost 1,664 gold pieces. Daily wage 20 silver pieces. Heavy mounted, half plate, large steel shield, heavy lance, long sword, heavy war horse. Chainmail Barding, level 12th, AC 20. Base Attack Bonus, plus 16, slash plus 10, slash plus 6. Cost 1,671 gold pieces. Daily Wage, 24 silver pieces. <coughs> If troops of a particular level are not available in the area, the DM can allow lower level troops to have better equipment, assuming they 
obtained it through spoils of war, by formerly working as guards, or for some other reason. They still demand the wage of the level corresponding to their equipment, so it's up to the PCs to decide if they want to pay that daily wage for less able troops. You can hire troops with no arms or armor and equip them yourselves. The daily wage for these mercenaries is two silver pieces times level for foot troops and four silver pieces times level for mounted ones. Of course, you have to provide armor and weapons, paying the costs given in the player's handbook or using arms and armor acquired through adventuring. The mercenaries understand that they do not own their equipment, but they are not responsible for damage to it or loss of it while fighting on behalf of the PCs. Upon completion of an assignment, they return the weapons and armor. There is always the risk, however, that some troops will steal the equipment, especially if they feel they were treated harshly. Some mercenaries quit if the weapons and armor are not of a certain quality. A 7th Eleven warrior rarely tolerates being given padded armor and half spear to fight with unless times are truly desperate. Use Table 4-4 Sample Mercenary Equipment to determine the typical arms and armor for a warrior of that level. Warriors accept equipment that is up to two levels beneath them without a problem. If the PC offer, PCs offer lower quality equipment than that, however, the mercenary's attitude immediately becomes unfriendly and must be brought up to at least indifference before they will accept the assignment. Mercenaries of any level happily use equipment that is better than that in indicated for their level. This benefit improves their attitude by one step automatically. It is typically, no, it is typical for mercenaries to get a share of the loot acquired during adventuring. The exact amount is set by haggling between the party and the mercenaries. Mercenary Leaders some mercenaries are hired in units and have their own leader. Typically, leaders are also warriors and are at least one level higher than the troops that they lead. Mercenary leaders with their own equipment, which is always the same as that of their troops, receive four times the wage of the troops they command. For example, a leader of, a, of light-mounted mercenary troops wage four silver pieces earns 16 silver pieces per day for himself. Mercenary leaders who receive equipment from their employer, which may be better than that of their troops if the employer so desires, make 6 silver pieces per day at second level plus an additional 3 silver pieces for each level above second. The PCs could also hire a leader with levels in fighter, assuming that some mercenaries are even available in the area. It costs one gold per piece per day to hire a first level fighter mercenary leader and the cost increases by two gold pieces per additional level. Leaders are just that. They give orders to their troops, negotiate on their behalf, and enforce discipline. Hiring a squad of mercenaries with a leader means that the warriors are familiar with each other's tactics and fight well as a cohesive group. Plus one bonus to AC on, and on attack rolls. The downside is that, P, that a PC cannot discipline a mercenary who is causing problems without going through the leader. Some leaders resent this sort of behavior. If a mercenary group leader dies in combat, the attitude of the group worsens by two steps. If their attitude drops to unfriendly, the group considers leaving as soon as the combat is over. If their attitude drops to hostile, they abandon the fight as soon as it is safe for them to do so. The PCs can make a charisma check to change their attitude when this occurs perhaps convincing the mercenaries to stay. And an offer to double their wages, 
their wage it lowers the check DC by five additional offers or incentives have no effect types of mercenaries different types of troop spe troops specialize in different forms of warfare the DM decides what sorts of mercenaries are available in a given area skirmishers foot Foot skirmishers are some of the cheapest type available. They specialize in harassing the enemy with ranged weapons, withdrawing as soon as their attack is complete or when they, when there is any organized retaliation. Skirmishers who use bows do not attack as a group, instead picking out individual targets as they become available. Elven and halfling mercenaries excel at this sort of warfare. Remember that halflings get a plus one racial bonus on attacks with thrown objects. Skirmishers mounted. Mounted skirmishers have even more, no, even greater mobility, attacking the flanks and rear of enemy lines with lightning fast strikes. Like foot skirmishers, they are good for hit and run attacks, but tend to wither beneath a concerted offense. They ride light war horses with no barding and are usually very skilled in the saddle. Mercenary pricing. The formula for determining a mercenary's level is as follows. Take the average money for a warrior. Three dice, four times ten gold pieces or sixty gold pieces. From chapter two of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Then apply the progression in Table 244, MPC Gear, also in Dungeon Master's Guide. Add up the total equipment cost, then figure out at what level the warrior could technically afford to own it all. A heavy hitter with half play, heavy warhorse, lance in the works, works out to 10th level. This equipment does not include any magic weapons. Light foot. Slightly more heavily armed and armored than skirmishers, light foot troops are meant to stay in more prolonged fighting. Such troops include archers, bows and crossbows, who march in, in formation and attack in mass. Peasants, peasant Levi's usually fall under this category, although they are commoners, not warriors, and have a lower base attack bonus. Light Mounted Fast and mobile, light mounted troops are good for exploiting weak spots in the enemy's formation. They are expected to stay in combat once they engage, although they retreat as soon as things turn sour. They wear primarily leather and studded leather armor to reduce weight. Medium foot. The staple forces of an army. Medium foot troops are designed to be balanced against most situations. They are well armed and armored, capable of crushing lighter equipped enemies and able to hold their own against heavier troops. They include pike and spear troops who are good against mounted opposition. City guards in wealthy communities tend to be medium foot troops. Medium mounted. Medium mounted troops fill the same row as heavy mounted troops but cost less to fill. They have decent armor, sca sca scale mail, chain mail, and occasionally breastplates and weapons that are more powerful than those of light mounted troops. They ride heavy war horses with light barding, barding such as leather and studded leather. Heavy foot. These are shock troops meant to overwhelm the enemy from the first blow. They wear the heaviest and finest armor and they use the most devastating weapons. Heavy foot soldiers are likely to be found in the employ of lesser nobles and knights, since they are among the few who can afford such expensive equipment. Heavy Mounted 
Heavy mountain troops tend to be masters of the battlefield, capable of powerful charges. These troops can break through the enemy lines in a single attack. Heavy mountain troops wear half plate or banded armor and make extensive use of lances, war hammers, and other devastating weapons. They ride heavy war horses with heavy barding, making them slow but extremely difficult to injure. Mercenary Statistics Mercenaries, being members of the warrior class, are proficient with all simple and martial weapons, all armor types, and all shields. However, not all troops have access to good equipment, so they fight with whatever they can get. Members of peasant Levi's might be skilled in the weapons they possess, but this is not always the case. Commoners are proficient with just one simple weapon. Troops whose primary attack is with a melee weapon have their highest ability score, 13, in strength. Troops who primarily use ranged weapons have their highest ability score in dexterity. This typically provides them a plus one bonus on attack rolls made with their primary weapon and a plus one bonus on their key skill checks. It is assumed that average mercenaries take the weapon's focus feat for their main weapon, such as longbow for archers, and the toughness feat at first level. Thus, typical mercenaries have an attack bonus of plus 2 with their primary weapon and plus 1 with their secondary weapon. Mounted troops put the maximum ranks into their ride and handle animal skills, 4 at first level, and take skill focus ride as soon as possible. Below are typical game statistics for various types of mercenary troops. Armor class and damage vary depending on the type of armor and weapon. Armor may reduce speed and certain skill modifiers as shown by an asterisk. Typical foot soldier melee. Human War 1 CR half medium sized humanoid HD 1 die 8 plus 4 HP 8 initiative plus 0 speed 30 feet with an asterisk AC varies attack plus 2 melee primary weapon or plus 1 ranged secondary weapon AL N S V 4 plus 3 ref plus 0 Will negative 1, strength 13, dexterity 11, constitution 12, intelligence 9, wisdom 8, charisma 10. Skills and feats. Climb, plus 2 with an asterisk, handle animal, plus 2, intimidate, plus 2, jump, plus 2 with an asterisk, ride, horse, plus 1, swim, plus two with an asterisk, toughness, weapon, focus, primary, weapon. Typical foot soldier, ranged, human war one, CR half, medium size humanoid, HD, one D eight plus four, HP eight, initiative plus one, speed 30 feet with an asterisk, AC varies, attack plus two ranged primary weapon, or plus one melee secondary weapon. AL, N, SB, Fort, plus three, ref, plus one, will, plus, or negative one, strength, eleven, dex, thirteen, constitution, twelve, intelligence, nine, Wisdom 8, Charisma 11. Skills and Feats. Climb plus 1 with an asterisk. Handle Animal plus 2. Intimidate plus 2. Jump plus 1 with an asterisk. Ride Horse plus 2. Swim plus 1 with an asterisk. Toughness 
Weapon focus, primary weapon. Typical mounted soldier melee. Human War 1. CR half medium sized humanoid. HD 1D8 plus 3. HP 7. Initiative plus 1. Speed 30 feet with an asterisk. AC varies. Attack plus 2. Melee. Primary weapon or plus two ranged secondary weapon. A L N S B Fort plus two ref plus one will negative one strength thirteen dexterity twelve constitution eleven intelligence nine wisdom eight charisma ten skills and feats. Handle animal plus four. Ride horse plus five. Toughness weapon focus primary weapon. Typical mounted soldier ranged. Human war one CR half medium sized humanoid. HD one D eight plus four HP eight. Initiative plus one, speed 30 feet with an asterisk, AC berries, attack plus two, ranged, primary weapon, or plus one melee, secondary weapon, ALNSV4 plus three, ref plus one, will negative one, strength 11, dexterity 13, constitution 12, intelligence 9, wisdom 8, Charisma 10. Skills and feats. Handle animal plus 4. Ride horse plus 5. Toughness. Weapon. Focus. Primary weapon. Exotic troops. Warfare in the D&D games take place not just on the battlefield but sometimes above and even below it. Many other races besides those described in the player's handbook are willing to sell their fighting skills to the highest bidder. Some types of troops are considered exotic because they are either rare or normally considered enemies of those who employ them. Because of their very nature, exotic troops are found in a variety of places, specialize in drastically different forms of combat, and ask varyingly prices for their services. Most of the creatures mentioned in Table 4-5 exotic troop costs are evil. Those who wish to hire evil mercenaries had better be able to prove they are more powerful and willing to use that power than they, there would be hirelings. Using threats, intimidation, or violence is often the only way to get creatures such as goblins and orcs to take orders from anyone not of their race. Many non-human troops are motivated by desires other than money and may demand different methods of payments. Some cultures consider slaves to be worth more than gold. The prices given in Table 4-5 are only guidelines for what a typical mercenary of those races would ask for in payment. They assume that the mercenary is willing to work with the PCs, though not necessarily friendly. All of the creatures mentioned in the table are average representatives of their race, with the ability and equipment given in the Monster Manual. Creatures of CR1 or lower expect payment that is the equivalent of a human warrior mercenary, two silver pieces per day for food troops, four silver pieces per day for mounted troops. Those of CR2 or higher demand the daily wage of troops having PC classes of the same level, two gold pieces per day times level. For example, a monitor CR4 will demand a minimum of 8 gold pieces per day. Table 4-5 Exotic Troop Costs Troop Type Goblin Studded level, Leather Morning Star Javelins 3 Daily Wage 1 Silver Piece Cobalt Leather 
half spot spear, light crossbow, daily wage, one silver piece. Asimar, scale mail, large steel sit shield, daily wage, two silver pieces. That's with a long sword and a light crossbow, too. No, no, scale mail, large wooden shield, battle axe, short bow, daily wage, two silver pieces. Hobgoblin, leather, small wooden shield, long sword, javelins, three. Daily wage, two silver pieces. Orc, scale now, great axe, javelins, three. Daily wage, two silver pieces. Typhling, studded leather, small steel shield, red gear, light crossbow, two silver pieces. Troglodyte, long sword, or long spear, javelins, three. Daily wage, Two silver pieces. Bugbear, leather, small wooden shield, morning star, javelins, three, daily wage, four gold pieces. Ogre, hide, huge, great club. Daily wages, four gold pieces. Centaur, large wooden shield, heavy lance. Mighty composite longbow, plus four strength bonus. Daily wages, six gold pieces. Minotaur, huge great axe. Daily wage, eight gold pieces. Pixie, dagger, composite short bow. Daily wage, eight gold pieces. Hill giant, hide, huge great club, rocks. Daily wage, fourteen gold pieces. Ogre, mage, chain, shirt, huge great sword, huge long bow. Daily wage, sixteen gold pieces. Aquatic Exotic Troops Merfolk Trident Heavy Crossbow Daily Wage 2 Silver Pieces Sahugin Trident Heavy Crossbow Daily Wage 4 Gold Pieces Triton Trident Heavy Crossbow Daily Wages 8 Gold Pieces Asimar The Noble Asimar Rarely serve as mercenaries, considering such employment to be a sinister, to be sinister and evil. Sometimes, however, individuals are found who sell their sword to employers that they deem worthy. These Asimar are usually fanatical in their destruction of evil. They are also likely to turn a vengeful eye towards employers who suspect, who they suspect of not following a strict code of goodness. Asmar expect to be treated with respect and they take a dim view on intimidation tactics by their employer. Bugbear. Sheer greed motivates these creatures and they will work for anyone that can provide them with adequate loot. They have an extremely short attention span and must be continually motivated by money or threats. They usually do not negotiate beyond, if you fight for me, I'll give you gold. Bugbears also accept slaves as payments. They are good skirmishers, but collapse under any prolonged and disciplined assault. Centaur Young male centaurs sometimes leave the safety and boredom of the herd to find glory in combat. If they cannot find any battles on their own, they seek out the elves and humans who need some extra muscle. Centaurs are hired as mounted troops and prefer to pepper the enemy from a distance with bows before making devastating charges with their heavy lances and hooves. Centaurs hate to go underground or enter buildings and will not work for anyone who intends to venture into a dungeon, castle, or other structure. They also balk at being treated like pack animals and refuse to carry more than their personal gear. Null. Nulls are foul creatures that delight in destruction and terror. Any person who can tolerate their despicable behavior will have powerful troops to work with. An employer must keep them well fed and use harsh discipline to prevent them from abandoning their tasks. Goblin. 
Goblins make cheap troops, often asking half or less the normal pay that a human warrior would demand. However, they are difficult to control and respond best to intimidation rather than reason or incentive. Goblins are treacherous in the extreme, so an employer should continually watch his back when payday comes around. Goblins work best in groups, requiring no few than ten for any real effect. They will likely flee when the odds turn against them. Sometimes to remember if you are depending on steadfast troops. Hill Giants Dull, witted, and greedy hill giants are not so much hired as bribed. A prospective employer usually has to an op to offer a large quantity of food in addition to money and treasure. Hill giants are fearsome in combat and act as mobile artillery pieces, lobbing enormous rocks with the strength of a small catapult. However, they are unpredictable and pose most, almost as great a threat as their allies as, as to their enemies. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblins are disciplined and ruthless. They understand the chain of command and they make perfect skirmishers. Light foot or medium foot troops. They readily form bands and actively look for conflicts. Because of this hard-nosed attitude, hobgoblins expect to be paid well and will refuse and probably attack someone who makes a poor offer. Hobgoblin warriors prefer to receive their orders from hobgoblin captains and sergeants rather than directly from their employer. Kobold Even more so than goblins, kobolds require extreme close attention from their employer to get the job done. Hired in bands of ten or more, they are useful for bogging down an enemy with mob tactics. Kobolds are cowards and should only be used against enemies that they are sure to beat, usually through sheer numbers. Kobolds do not bargain well and they usually have to be intimidated to respond to orders. Minotaur Minotaurs make devastating troops but take a lot of coaxing to be persuaded to fight for just one side. Sometimes in the heat of battle a minotaur becomes consumed with bloodlust and attacks anyone within striking distance, including friendly troops. The minotaur can easily go head to head with an armored knight. Minotaurs quickly grow impatient when combat is not imminent and will either leave or attack their employer out of boredom. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.